There's half of y'all here today, though. <laughs> True believers. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you talked about you know, beating the, the double teams and, and you know, just having that's part of life now in, in the NFL with, with where you're at as a player. You guys have struggled a little bit in the red zone offensively as well. Would you like to see yourself be more of a target in the red zone? We've had a touchdown since, since week two. Just, just be more involved, maybe just hey, say, hey, throw it up to me. I can make a play. I want to be a target. If you approach anybody about just saying, hey, I want to be more of an option down here. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, each week you go into it and you kind of have that mentality. And, you know, we, we have some plays that, that are in, you know, for that, you know. And um, it's, it's just, you know, we're, in the last few weeks we hadn't been able to get down there as much probably and, and, and use those. And then when we are, it's, you know, late in the game and it's, it's one of those things where we're going to run it in and, and, and that. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm always, you know, trying to do what I can each week and, Especially, I mean, in the red zone, that's that, that's usually a tight ends down, you know. And so, um, you know, like I said, I just, just trying to do what I can every day, and yeah, especially down there, you know, I just want to help as, uh, out as much as I can. So, how did you recharge during the bye? Uh, I actually went down. I I, I stayed here for um, you know till Wednesday. We we were in the building and everything, and um, just reviewing stuff, reviewing the last eight, you know eight weeks and. Um, you know, I, I, after that, I went down to Nashville and kind of recharged the batteries a little bit. This is where I'm, uh, you know, kind of based at right now, and um, was able to do that, and, and came back on, you know, Sunday and got back into the swing of things. You know, and uh, we had, we came in Monday, watched some film, um, you know, went over these guys, and then um, Tuesday off again. And so it was, it was nice. It was a good break for I think everybody, just mentally, and then and then physically, try to get our bodies right again. So, uh, you know, I think everybody feels. Feels good out there now, and uh, you know, kind of feels like we had a week off. So. I know that's where the tight end view was kind of held. Why, why does Nash show to come down to home base? Is it just a fried chicken? Yeah, yeah. Hattie B's. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, I I got draft. Obviously, when when the draft was happening, I was uh, it was down there, um, and then. Oh yeah. Uh, it was down there, and, and, and I kind of loved the city when I was down there for the draft and everything. And then uh, George Kittle, obviously, um, is down there, and, and I got injured my rookie year. And um, after rehab and, and was able to run and stuff, uh, you know, he told me to come down there, and that's kind of where I've been since. You know, I just love it down there. I love the work. And then, you know, we got, we got guys down there to do PT and, and, and everything that we need. So I was able to see those guys again. And, um, you know, kind of use that to get the body right for the, for these last nine games. So, hey, how much different did you feel physically this morning from not having played a game? Did you feel pressure? Yeah, I mean, I think I hit a new uh, new GPS high yes, yesterday. So I think I think I felt pretty good. You know, on Monday, so um, it, it was good. Yeah, I mean, I, I woke up on Monday feeling no aches and pains, and um, you know, like you said, just this week being able to come out here and kind of. You know, after you have a week off, you kind of have some hiccups and, and some things that you're just trying to get back to. You know, like cutting, cutting, you know, catching a ball. You know, just just to, you you're used to doing that every day. You know, and then having that. So it's nice to come back out here and like practice actually, and like go through the week and, and get those out of the way before Sunday. You mentioned taking a look at the first eight weeks before you left for Nashville. What was your biggest takeaway from You know, I mean. It, 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 it was, you know, the first day weeks watching the film and, and doing all that is, is, you know, again, winning one-on-ones, you know, giving guys opportunities, um, you know, just, just trying to make plays when my number's called, you know, and um, whether that's a route and it, and it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, I, I, there's a few on tape where, you know, the safety's playing over top, but it's it's one of those things where I got to I gotta still win, you know, and um, guy underneath and, you know, I beat him, but now I got to beat the second guy. And I mean that's I mean that's the biggest thing. Run after catch is always a big emphasis for me. Um, just being able to use that, uh, my weapons and you know stiff arm, you know lowering the shoulder, you know whatever it is. Just being able to use that to get some extra yards for us. Um, you know I, I guess that was kind of the biggest takeaways from the first eight. There's a chuckle of a guy that's sick of being bracketed across the middle. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's no doubt. I just, I'm, I'm curious about the, the GPS. No, it's tongue in cheek a little bit. But I mean, is that something you actually look at on a regular basis? Just like, I mean, I think that's something everybody. I mean, everybody looks at. You know, I think the the weight room guys do a good job. Um, you know, kind of telling us where we're at. I mean, I'm wearing a heart rate monitor right now, just kind of seeing where we're at in that in that sense. And then, um, 
you know, being able to, to, to track that, you know, I mean, that was, that was a high. And so, you know, it was, and sometimes it's a little skewed because, you, you know, as a tight end, you kind of run 15 yard routes and, and things. So you don't really get open up. So, I mean, yesterday I was able to open up a few times and, um, you know, that was, it was kind of one of those things, you know, pat and go and, and kind of just, just running. So, um, it, it was good. It was good for sure. What was the number? Uh, I think they were telling me 20.9. 20, 20. So, yeah. So, the Lions, Andy and, and Red, and Dan and both talked about you know, wanting to be more, have more of a virtual presence. When you get those one on one opportunities, you really take advantage of them. Just take those shots, give guys an opportunity to make plays. Right. Would you like to see yourself included in that as well? Like they were more talking about the outside, but yourself included. Yeah, and you know, I think I think we've we've split me out a few times and and, and given me, you know, some of that, and, you know. But it, again, it's um, you know, whether whether it's safety or corner being prepped, you know. So, it, it, yeah, I would love I would love to do that, you know, and, and love to be out there and, and doing some things and just you know whatever it takes, you know. I mean, it, if if that helps some guys get open underneath and you know that helps that helps us get get a get a few yards you know outside yeah I mean I would love to do that but um, you know I think it's just yeah I mean just winning you know I guess I know the one last two are, are few and far between for you nowadays but, but when you do get them is that just you know, yeah you lick your chops a little bit you know it seems really like, hey just throw it up to me and make a play for me. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, you know, I mean, it, well, you usually can feel that uh, when it happens too, you know, and, and uh, for me as a player, you know, I've just been able to kind of get, get used to reading things and, and see, seeing guys and, you know, whether, you know, the backer's trying to look like he's in the backfield, but he's shaded to my side and, um, you know, things like that. It's, it, you, def, you definitely, I start licking my chops a little bit and like, all right, you know, let's ride. And usually JG sees that too and, and you know, hits it. So. Um, you know, I think I think those opportunities are few and far between. But when you when you get them, you gotta you gotta take advantage for sure.